All right, it's story time. Hi, my name is Devan and I am a photographer. I'm creating this video especially to share an amazing experience I've had recently when we had traveled to North India. I had been there along with my wife and my 20-month-old son. Um, we were at this place called Jibhi, which is in Tirsan Valley, Himachal Pradesh. So this happened on the fifth day of our stay at Jibhi. Um, we were at this beautiful but um, completely isolated and remote resort in Jibhi. We felt like we were cut off from the rest of the world. So at around 7.30 in the morning, I was out in my balcony and I noticed a seemingly large looking bird. Of course, it would appear very tiny because it was so far away across the valley on top of the other mountain, but it was soaring um, very gracefully on the top of the mountain. And I wondered and I wished that, you know, it would be amazing if I could look at that bird from up close. But nothing really happened uh, for a bit after that and uh, it was around 10.30 when I was having my shower. My wife knocked on the door and said, Tevang, you need to come out and uh, there is this amazing bird flying outside our balcony. And I rushed out to see, um, see initially when I saw the bird, I felt it was like a big eagle, but uh, I was wrong. It happened to be a large vulture and I had never seen a vulture live out in the wild in my entire life so I was really excited. As soon as I peeped um, you know to, to see where the bird landed, it landed on a tree and to my surprise there were it was not just one there were several more um, maybe around 20 of them sitting on one tree. I got really excited I quickly grabbed my camera and clicked a few pictures. So when I reached the balcony or the floor above us and got a better angle, I got to know that uh, they were not only just sitting on that tree, they were flying back and forth to a particular spot on the uh, higher up on the mountain where my resort was and they were constantly doing this back and forth. So I, I got curious and I thought, let me go and check it out. So I instantly left. I wasn't even prepared. I was in my shorts, vest, not even wearing a t-shirt. Um, and slippers. I didn't even have my phone along with me, but I just left. Um, of course, I had my camera and thankfully so. I wouldn't have left without it. So I kind of uh, hiked up the mountain for a bit, um, trying to be as discreet as possible and as subtle as possible so that I don't kind of interfere on, you know, and I didn't want them, the birds, the, the vultures to be alarmed by my presence. I scrambled on my force till I reached such a point where I was at an eye level with the where the action was happening and I had an adrenaline rush because I saw 15 more vultures mostly they seemed like juveniles and they were feeding off a carcass and that was of a dead cow I felt sorry for the cow but that's nature right um, my brain was going in an overdrive I was scared for myself what is what if one of the vultures uh, felt threatened by my presence while I knew vultures are not you know they don't really attack they are like scavengers and they only feed off dead um, but maybe they could uh, possibly get aggressive to protect their food right so I was scared um, there was this hissing sound that all of them were collectively making while they were feeding the carcass and it was scary just the previous day we were sharing a ride um, with someone you know and this person had told us that um, oh you know he noticed where we dropped off um, at our resort you notice oh you're staying here please do not venture out alone because a leopard was sighted in this um, area about a week ago so please don't go out alone and that was running in my mind because you know w what if you know the leopard was also interested in the carcass and it was uh, somewhere very close by i didn't want to squat because i know that a uh, leopard can attack um, someone who they think are small in structure um, anyway so that was going on in my mind the other thing that was going on in my mind was I, I was feeling blessed that I had my camera with me but unfortunately the only lens that I the best lens that I had um, available at that time was the kit lens which was um, which is of 24 to 105 millimeter not really ideal for bird photography but i did my best what i could manage with that lens i ended up spending about three and a half hours um, on day one shooting these vultures i was trying different settings and i had an amazing time um, on day two i did suspect that they might come back 
um, and they did. I spent about two hours. Um, again, I chose a different angle though. Um, I spent two hours capturing them. Um, until such time, what happened was, um, at the end of the second hour, um, there was a dog which came barking towards the cow and uh, drew all the vultures away. And um, then the dog was feeding off the vulture. I, I didn't want to capture that and I returned. It was lunchtime anyway. And what happened was about 15 minutes later, the caretaker of our resort came and asked me, um, did you see the leopard <laughs> um, that took the cow away? I was like, no, it was just 15 minutes after I had left that spot. And uh, he said, yes, that's true. I saw a leopard actually take dragging the cow away. And uh, he also believed that it was a leopard who had killed, uh, you know, the, the, the attack and killed the cow. It was his kill. So I, I felt like, okay, I need to check it out. Um, as soon as I finished my lunch, I went back to the spot and he was right. I couldn't see the cow anywhere in sight and um, I thought to myself there was no way that the dog could have dragged a large animal like a cow um, away and so he was right, it must have been the leopard. Um, I was like, oh, I, I, missed, I, I missed that opportunity of capturing a leopard in the wild. But anyway, I'm still happy that I have these pictures. Here are some of the photographs and um, I hope you like them.